Oh, that was quite much for me. Uh, welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are sat all comfy in our little studio to bring you the latest showbiz news, things we have tittered at on the internet, and of course, a life lesson. But let's take a moment to stop and say hello to a man with a mum mode. It's Mike. Yeah, you look concerned about my mum mode. I don't understand it. Have you, not, have you never done mum mode? So you're with a group of friends and they're all like dilly dally, and you just go right. That's it. I'm making the decision. And oh, going to mum right. Mode. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. not a not a weird sexual thing. That's 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 no, a it's relief. Not. It's not okay. a weird sexual thing. No. Okay. That's that's, that's what more I of an insight into your mind. The mind. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> and I've been potholing in the world of the internet, looking for snippets you may have missed, including some weird facts you may not have known. And I have some great showbiz news, including a um, story about a celebrity that has gone to the beyond, but it's coming back, kind of. Um, so you can keep in touch with us in all the usual social medias, at The Cud TV. Our website is at thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, search for Chewing the Cud. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then stop right now. You'll want to be checking below my face as your name may be going along the bottom of the screen. Lee, Margaret Thatcher's nipples. What? I'm just trying to put you off. <laughs> okay, that's because it's <laughs> random. It's very random this week. It's time for... Game of the Week. The producer is rushing off after the show as he's hosting a function tonight to raise funds for the local constabulary. He does this several times a year and says he gets immense pleasure out of holding the policeman's balls. Speaking of law enforcement, He's asked us to work out whether he broke the law. Let's see the first slide. It is an offence to be drunk and in charge of cattle in England and Wales. So, so we've got to work out if that is a, is a, a rule or not a rule. Yes, yeah, so whether it's law or not a law. OK. All right, then. So being drunk in charge of cows in England and Wales, but not Scotland. Uh, I think it's true. Because it makes sense. You've got, you've got a lot of horny beasts in front of you. The last thing you want to do is be drunk and in charge of them. No. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if, if you it's can a be law as, or not. <laughs> <laughs> you can be as pissed as you want, as long as you don't let them go running amok. <laughs> How would you stop them running amok though if you're drunk? <sighs> I hadn't thought it through. Oh, okay. Shout McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we see the answer? It's true. Oh, it's true. Yeah. All right, so you can't be off your face no. in charge of cattle. <laughs> cattle. In England or Wales. But once again, it says nothing about Scotland. Or Ireland. Oh, that's mm. true. OK. Well, you, one point to you. Let's, let's, have, let's have one for me. In London, it is illegal for a person knowingly with a notifiable disease to flag down a taxi or try and ride on a bus. It's never stopped me. No, the, the plague, not a problem then. <laughs> My leprosy is hardly visible. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, ooh, I don't know. I thought that was a leprosy. A leopard print, sorry. Oh, oh but um, oh. I think it's true. I think it's false because, you know, diseases come in many different forms. No, but it's a notifiable disease, so it's not like you've got a cold. Like you've got leprosy or is it the rona. if it's a contagious disease, no. then obviously yes. Like the rona. Like the rona, yeah. yeah. Or the clap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or crabs. You don't want those running off onto their seats. <laughs> <laughs> so get away from that insight in your mind. You say it's true. I'm saying it's false because I don't think you can unless you unless it's something um, communicable. Mm -hmm. Then no, you don't have to say it. Let us see. It's true. You have to. Yeah, I thought that makes sense, doesn't it? So if you get on a bus, you've got to say, good morning, sir. I have a massive dose of the clap. May I, <laughs> may I take a seat? <laughs> and it's up to them whether they decide whether you can come on or not. <laughs> they don't like it when you, you get on and you don't announce that you've got chronic diarrhea. No, no. <laughs> don't like that. Stop the bus, only press that in emergency, sir. It is an emergency. What's that coming down the stairs? Oh, I've just dropped my yacht play. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Chocolate Villa Shake, your play. <laughs> Shall we move on quite quickly? Yeah. 
<laughs> it is illegal to cause a nuclear explosion. Well, one would assume that that's a given, isn't it, really? Mm, I don't think it is illegal to cause a nuclear explosion. I think it's illegal to own a nuclear warhead or to build a device, but I bet it's not illegal to cause the explosion. So, if you're Donald Trumpety Monkety mm -hmm. in your bunker and nice. the button is in front of you, the red button, mm. it's not illegal for yeah. him to kind of just go boop and press it. Exactly. Boom. World's gone. It's not that big a nuclear device. It would be a, a slow and painful death. It wouldn't just be boom, world gone. Oh, dark. I'm going to yeah. say that it... I, I'm going to say that it, 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 it... What was the question again? Is it illegal to cause a nuclear explosion? <laughs> it is illegal. It's not a good thing to do. I don't think... I don't think it's a good thing to do. I don't think everyone should go out and do it now. <laughs> um, but I don't think it's illegal. Well, let's see. Is it illegal or is it not? Well, it's true. See? Oh. Okay. That's a, that, that is clearly a no-brainer. But then, as you said, we've got people in power that have buttons with nuclear devices attached to it, and they would cause a nuclear... Dis and then it would be illegal. <laughs> what, yeah. Whatever is left of them <laughs> would, would be put in prison. Would be, be, <laughs> would be dusted <laughs> up. <laughs> You don't nuclear yourself. <laughs> well, it, you, 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 don't, you, you don't, you don't, you don't know. <laughs> oh, let's have another one. <laughs> it's illegal to die in Parliament. I think it, that's perfectly legal. I think some of them already are dead. <laughs> that's but, um, House of Lords. Oh, that's House of Lords. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Parliament. 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 <laughs> 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 What what was the what was the Guy Fawkes thing? What was that all about? Where, where was that, he trying to blow up? That was him up? trying to blow them. Blow them up, sorry. Was he trying to blow up Parliament? Yes. Okay. But it wasn't in the building that, that is there now. Okay. Because that was built in Queen Victoria's room. I'm going to say they probably, after that event, said, we need a law. <laughs> that says no dying in Parliament. <laughs> yeah, that. So if you're old, or you've got a weak heart. Of any kind of death. Any kind of death. Yeah. Yeah. The Grim Reaper's not allowed in. <laughs> oh, maybe he's Black Rod. Huh? Yeah, uh, I'm just going to move on. Right, <laughs> I think it isn't illegal. I think it's true, you're not allowed I to. I think it's false. Let's see. Yay. Oh, OK. Because how, how do you stop people dying in Parliament? It's like someone keels over the attack. Quick, get him out! <laughs> Perhaps their souls are trapped there forever. Yeah. Insinuating that politicians have souls. Yeah. Let's move on. It is illegal to stand within a hundred yards of the reigning monarch without wearing socks. Is I... it because she has a foot fetish? And she might go, <laughs> she might... She might go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Philip, get me his shoes. <laughs> oh, toes. Um, <laughs> I think it's probably true. It's probably one of those weird... I think it's true as well. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's true. Let's see if, if you have to wear a pair of socks. Oh, it's false. false. Oh. Oh. She doesn't have a foot fetish, then. She doesn't have a foot fetish, but she prefers it if you go commando. Because <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She can see through the... She can see what's going on <laughs> through the trousers. I haven't thought this one through, either. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to see the cut of your jib. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you don't have a cut jib? Well, either way, she knows what she's dealing with. Why are we, ta why, why are we talking about this? <laughs> As if... <laughs> <laughs> she likes to know these things. <laughs> Look, let's have a let's have a let's have a midpoint um, points check. Lee won Mike three. Oh, okay. Oh, so mentioning Margaret Thatcher's nipples has helped me. Obviously. Yeah, it has. Yeah, sh sh shall we lob up another one? In Liverpool, it is illegal for a woman to be topless in public, except <laughs> as a clerk in a tropical fish store. That's very specific. It's very specific, that. What if they sell other things other than tropical fish? If they sell, like, tropical fish and lizards? Perhaps yeah. one would have to put one's bra back on. Or just one out. One out, one in. One out, one in. That's very specific, so I think it's true. I don't really know. What caused it? Did somebody have an, an awkward piranha nipple situation? Well, that would mean you should then be topless at all. You shouldn't be topless. Shouldn't be topless? Yeah. But it's you can be topless in a tropical fi fish store. I don't think you can be topless. I'm going to say it's false. You have to put a put put your put bangers away. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. 
one random. So she can get. Oh, it's false. It's false. Yeah. No, so she has. She can't be topless in a tropical no, fish. So you're right. No, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but anywhere else, get your bad boys out. <laughs> so. So at the end of all that, it was two to you and three to me. Okay. So I have won. You've won. Yeah. You, you always win the weird ones that don't make any sense. <laughs> anyway, I've still got nipples on my mind. So while I grab some mind bleach, I'm going to remind you that coming up, we have this week's life lesson. Coming up after the break, it's the showbiz with Lee. Do you think Margaret Thatcher's nipples were very hairy? Stop it! Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. He's been known to look at a cock or two, and other exotic birds as well. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. You know, I once had a budgerigar that could sing yeah. I Should Be So Lucky. Eventually all its feathers fell out and it euthanized itself. <laughs> um. <laughs> Is that because of the, the song or...? Yeah, uh, I just don't think. Anyway, you know. Oh anyway, tragic times. So... Showbiz. Mm. We're going to talk today about a celebrity who, who has gone, gone over the Rainbow Bridge. Um, Dorothy. To the beyond. Oh, right. Yeah. So okay. were, were you a George Michael fan? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Yes. What was, what was your go-to George Michael song? So I, I really liked Outside. Okay. Right, because it was very anti-establishment and very... And about toilets. About toilet sex, yeah. Yes. Um... But um, the the one where he was writhing around, fast love. Oh, okay. Fast love, yes. Writhing around. Writhing around. Right. That, okay. that was a, a, a pivotal Particularly, moment okay. in, in my childhood. Shall we oh, say? All right. Okay. Well, um, there are talks into having a George Michael mural painted in the area that he lived. Oh, right. So um, in London. Mm. Um, Kingsbury area of London, which is where he grew up. Yep. Um, an artist called Dawn Mellor has been brought in to do a George Michael mural. Oh, right. Um, now, not quite sure how, what kind of theme it's going to take. I think we're going to do it on the side of a Snappy Snaps. <laughs> <laughs> he just drove into it once. And, and, that, and that was all. So, yeah. yeah. But instead so, of driving into it like normal people would like, like a drive through, he drove into it. Yeah. I don't think that his fans would want that as his lasting legacy. Oh, okay. um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it, he died on Christmas Day in 2016. Mm -hmm, I know. So, that's a long time ago, relatively. Mm -hmm. You think yeah. for him to, to have a mural. So, um, he's not the only celebrity in that area that have had a mural. So, Amy Winehouse had one painted of her. Okay. Not next to the Threshers, in oh, somewhere right. other. <laughs> <laughs> and um, David Bowie also had one oh, okay. painted of him. So, but it's, it's not the first George Michael mural that has been painted in the world. Is it not? In Australia, mm -hmm. um, a very um, detailed mural of George Michael was painted a couple of years ago. We have a picture of it here. Um, it's, it's George Michael depicted as a saint. Um, uh -huh. Holding um, a joint yes. and a bottle of poppers. Okay. Which is famous for both of those things. I yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't think the one that they're going to do in London would be like that. I don't think. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I don't know the artist. I don't know what she. I would like to have the. I would like to have. C -c 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 Come on. Painted <laughs> over his head. <laughs> that would be good. Uh, you know how they have the transition of man. So from the yes. eight to. A, I think we should have the transitions of George Michael's. <laughs> so starting off wham. Yes. And then going through to like. Careless Whisper. Careless Whisper. Faith. Faith. And then the 90s where he went really like short haired and yes. little goatee. And yeah. To yeah. the 2000s. I think the progression of my. Ending crashing through a Snappy Snaps window. <laughs> with, yeah. that, with that. A moment holding car keys going. <laughs> oh! Yeah. We love you. We loved George. We, we respect. Yeah. Don't, don't cunt us down and try and kill us. Um, so. That, I don't think he will. He's dead. It's fine. No, but his fans might. Oh, right. No, his fans won't. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't know. Um, the next bit of showbiz news is very controversial. Ooh. So, Eurovision mm -hmm. has been happening for about 8,000 years. Not recently, has it? Not recently. <laughs> not this year. It was kibosh because of the Rona. Mm -hmm. But America, the US of A, uh -huh. have announced that they are going to do their own song contest. It's going to be called the American Song Contest. Okay. 
and it's going to happen next year. So they have no ideas of their own. They're, they're, they're Pop taking stars, it. Stars, the X Factor, Britain's Got Talent. I sense a little bit of unease, and not, unhappiness. Not, not unease, just yes, unhappiness is the right word. Because the, the Eurovision movie was even made by Americans. But what's his face? Will Ferrell uh -huh. is a big Eurovision fan. Oh, good for him. OK, um, we've, we've tapped a, no, a, a nerve there, <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> Mr Benny and Rob. So it's going to be 50 acts mm -hmm. from each of the US states. Are there not 53 states in America? I don't know. I'm just doing what I've got written here. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Perhaps only 50 want to take part. That's, that's fair enough. You can say. So, yeah, so there'll be semi-finals, there'll be a grand final. Um, they're hoping that it will, in some way, be able to be integrated into the Eurovision Song Contest in some form. So whether or not the winner... What are you laughing at? I've just had this sudden image of going, hello, this is Texas calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Carol Baskin sat there going, 12 points! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, whether or not it could be like a bit like an Australian y type thing, mm -hmm. where, because Australia are allowed to take part in the Eurovision Song Contest now, mm -hmm. whether or not the winner of the American Song Contest would be allowed to take part in the Eurovision Song Contest. I don't know. Are, are we thinking this is not a good idea? No. Because what I love about the European Song Contest, and I, I, I had reservations about Australia joining it. Did you? Was because it just dis perfectly displayed the politics of the European continent. Mm. We're like, oh, we used to be friends with you and we don't like you because of X, Y and Z. And the songs were almost immaterial. It's just people having reasons not to like someone. Yeah. I, and some of the awful songs were the best things. Mm. And America... Bless them. They don't really get camp, no, do they? They don't get silly. No, I can't imagine somebody dressed in tinfoil with like cones glued to their nipples <laughs> singing about do our diddies and, and. Or some random old grannies going, I'm singing a song about crochet, la la la. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to see how that pans out. We, I can imagine that people aren't particularly very happy about it, but no. you know, it's a free world. It is. Some places. Yeah. Not all. Mostly it is. Mostly. Yeah. Okay. Now, last bit of showbiz news about Adele news. Oh, she found the cakes again. She hasn't. Uh. She's destroyed the cakes forever. Because everybody is... So, in lockdown, most mm. of us have put on a few pounds. A few. A few, yeah. A few. <laughs> someone, actually, this. I, someone actually turned around to me the other day going, oh, what are you expecting? <gasps> Rude. This. I don't know where this is. I, I, I didn't ask for this. Where's it come from? Get rid of it. It's not happy. Um, but Adele has managed to reverse that trend and she is now a skinny mini. She's been skinny for a while, though, hasn't she? But look at this picture. She's How really lost weight. Wow. Skinny mini is that. And everyone's like going, How has she done it? Has she had surgery? Is she doing some sort of like weird diet, like a Kardashian thing when they only eat nearly said penises then? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you put on weight doing that. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Calories in it. Um, so, um, that is what people are, are, are talking about, is how has she managed to do it? And apparently, it's through a self-help book. She's eating a self-help no, book. Not That's not going to be very nutritious, is it? <laughs> she's ripping a page out <laughs> every day and rolling it up and eating it. But no, apparently, it's, it's um, a positivity book. Okay. Um, that, and, and since the, these sort of like photographs have been um, revealed, it's flying off the shelves um, for, for people to, 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 you know, if she can lose weight by reading a book. To be fair, if I could lose weight by reading a book, I would be doing it and eating cakes at the same time. <laughs> I was just say, is it just that good a book that she forgets to eat? <laughs> mm, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what she's doing. Um, but she lives in LA now. So okay. LA. And she's got people like Beyonce as her friends who probably slap the cakes out of her. Well, I was going to say, but Beyonce's <laughs> famous for eating junk food. Is she? Yeah, she like, talks about eating fried chicken and lots when? of... What? When does she eat fried chicken? All the time. Really? Yeah, she just then doesn't eat anything for a week. Then, <laughs> she, then she gets sucked out of her so that it doesn't actually turn into fat. 
I don't know, but she's she's famous for, for loving her home cooked food and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. To be fair though, we do have a picture of of, of Adele with Beyonce. Okay. Um, so so Adele is is in front of a fireplace dancing to a Beyonce um, track. I think she looks like Kate Winslet out of Titanic. Is that Adele? Yeah, that's what she looks like now. With curly hair? Yeah, she's now Kate Winslet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She'll be clinging onto a door frame. <laughs> Have a look there was room for two people on that yeah. door frame. She's now there's room for 15. Now. <laughs> um, but also, what the internet have been doing is that before she revealed what the book was, mm -hmm. the internet, like they do, have kind of been making jokey references about what is the book that changed Adele's life. Okay. And the first one we have got um, is, is the Blue Peter Annual. <laughs> yeah, I can see how that works. <laughs> that changed her life, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, is that Peter Duncan, Peter Purvis and Leslie Judd? You won't know these names. Nope. Just names. They're just um, names of people with their nips out. <laughs> with their nips out, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that could have changed that. Then the second one that we've got mm -hmm. is, is the... the, the Julie Goodyear's biography is the book that changed her life. That changed my life. Did it? It did. In what way? Well, I had a wonky table. <laughs> and I popped that book underneath it and it was perfectly level And it after bounced that. it straight yeah. out. Changed my life, that book. Well, yeah, there, there you go. So, yeah, so Adele has, has, has become smaller. Mm -hmm. and, um, but people are still asking her, when is your album coming? And she just replied, I don't know. That's the end <laughs> of the, the showbiz news. <laughs> Well, thank you for that, Lee. Coming soon, we'll bring you yet another, yes, another life lesson. But before that, we delve into the internet history of a unique soul. It's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. I'm interested to see what things he's found about penises this week. Lockdown has been hard for him. Well, semi-hard. It's Mike with the buzz. You say semi. Like a lazy lob. <laughs> <laughs> like a lazy lob. Okay. Um, well, I've been ferreting around on the internet, trying to find some some non-penis related things for you. Oh, that's hard. And uh, yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> I've managed to find something though. Have you? And the first thing I found was a thread about random facts. Okay. So those little bits of information that you've you've gained over the years, and you don't know why or how, mm -hmm. but they're there in your mind. The mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of thing that's good in a pub quiz. Okay. Okay. And I, I found some rather juicy ones. Oh. Yeah. But I thought I'd share them with you. Oh, please. So this comes from um, Brittany Pankit Cunningham. Don't say her name fast. No, you can't say her name fast. <laughs> I can't say it slowly either. Um, who <laughs> asked for the most random fact? Okay, and she said, I want a random fact. Yes. And Brittany it, Pankit Cunningham. Cunningham, yes. <laughs> um, and so people shared. Okay. So the first one I thought was very prudent to you, Lee. So good information to okay. know. Which is dogs poop in alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. Do they? Yeah. So they align their bl and bladder movements and they prefer to relieve themselves along a north-south axis. Okay. So yeah, th they will actively avoid going another way. So next time you're walking Nell, uh -huh. if, if she darts off, it's because you're walking on the wrong axis. To be fair, I don't think she always if she needs to plot one out, it doesn't really matter where the moon Earth axis is, it'll just come. No, they, they, they do. So you get your compass out and it'll say, like, north-south, and she'll be pooping that direction. OK, I shall, I shall buy a compass, uh -huh. and next time I shall, I shall look at it to see where she craps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want, yeah, we want photos, video evidence. OK. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be quick before she eats it. <laughs> I thought you were about to say before you eat it. <laughs> oh, it's a snack when I'm out. <laughs> I love a warm food. Um, the next one. Um, I've always been interested in galactic archaeology. Okay. But I don't think this is what they meant. Did you know that dinosaurs lived on the other side of the galaxy? I don't understand it. So what happened? Because the galaxy's spinning. Yes. Yeah. 
the amount of time it's been since dinosaurs were around, yes. we've completed a half turn of the galaxy on a spin. Oh, okay. So when dinosaurs were on Earth, yes. it was the other side of the galaxy. Okay, that's a boring fact. I didn't say it. it's a <laughs> random fact, Lee. It's random. <laughs> if you'd have said, you know, dinosaurs invented toilet paper, but they died out because their tiny hands couldn't wipe their bottoms, uh, that would have been more <laughs> interesting. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Female koalas have two vaginas. Vaginas? Vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> they have two for challenges, yeah. I, I was aware of that. Don't know where I picked that up, though. How did you know that? I, I think... <laughs> I think it was in a cracker. Like a it Christmas a cracker. cracker. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Christmas crackers are you buying? <laughs> for China crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Never go around to Lee's at Christmas. Salvador Dali designed the wrapper for Chupa Chups. Chopper chops. Chopper chops. You know, the, little the lollies. Lollies. Okay. Yeah. He designed the wrapper for those. They weren't oh, melting okay. clocks or oh, like okay. people screaming, but... They, they oh, right. Okay. That's, that's slightly interesting. Slightly interesting. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. And that okay. comes from the next story that I have. Oh. Now, we all have to wear face masks and we face do. coverings when we're out in public. Yes. Okay. Um, feel sorry for Paige, who went to Walmart in America to buy a face wrap and she doesn't quite like what she looks like. Okay. Shall we see what she looks Let's like? Let's have a look. <laughs> she says she looks like a giant uncircumcised penis. She does indeed. She looks a bit like a, a, a PPP hole. A PPP hole? A PPP hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, to be fair, she does, yeah. I think it's the colour choice. It's the colour choice. Yeah. Maybe if she'd gone with a nice, nice like, polka dot. Yeah, then people wouldn't... wouldn't it just look diseased. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, she's put a picture of herself looking like a penis on her, on her tweet. So she's what? not that upset. No, she's not. Well, you've got to own it, haven't you? Yeah. To own the way you look. I wonder if she kind of just slowly pulls it down. <laughs> <laughs> when she goes into a shop. Oh, hello. Ooh. Or if it gets a bit further up when it gets cold. Yeah. yeah. Or whether she pulls it down and she spits at people. <laughs> That that would be dedicated to the to the to the um... <laughs> <That'd be> dedication. <laughs> <laughs> or whether Ooh. she's had had a hard day and it just dribbles outside of her mouth. Oh. <laughs> and if something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just look at the Cud TV on all your social media platforms. We've been swamped this week with correspondence, again from Mrs. Belinda Mycock, who writes... Dear Chewing the Cud, If you try to fail and succeed, what did you just do? Yours, Mrs. Belinda Mycock. Cockermouth. Have you ever failed to succeed? I'm not, I'm not going down that road. <laughs> I, know, I, know what you, I know what you're trying to do. What? <laughs> Have you ever failed to succeed? <laughs> This is a perfectly honest question. I sometimes have not been successful okay. with things that I attempt. Okay. But I have never failed to succeed. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> we could go into a conversation we've had on there at that point, but I'm not going to. And that takes us to a story of the week. Okay. Okay. Now, internet access is needed for everybody. It is. Yes. If you didn't have internet, you wouldn't have Instagram. You'd have no life. No Twitter, no Pornhub. Might as well be dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they even have the internet on, on remote islands. They do, they? They do. Yes, yeah, so up in the northern bits of Scotland, they've all got internet and it's, it's decently cabled in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get some good quality porn. Get some good quality porn, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not your hard camp. Porn kind, but just kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, just that romantic soft porn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two people lying in bed knitting going, I love yeah. you. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, disaster almost happened. <gasps> wow. When they fa when looking at the cable in the ground, they found a Second World War pipe bomb. Ooh. Okay. So a bomb squad had to nearly blow up the internet access for Shetland. Okay, is this guy not going to be a pipe bomb? 
No, it is a pipe bomb. Oh, it is a pipe it's bomb. A genuine pipe bomb. Oh, I thought it was like, going to be like an ice pop hole or something like that. that somebody had just thrown <laughs> You were expecting a dilly, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I was. Yeah, like a 1940s prophylactic made out of wood. <laughs> a wooden one? Well, they did make wooden ones. Not just in the 1940s. But in the olden days when the I was a days. child. Yeah, when been. I was first exploring my sexuality. Uh, <laughs> or <Well>, branch. <laughs> never go to a stately home. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at that balustrade. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right shape as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so it, it genuinely was a pipe bomb. An actual pipe bomb. Oh, okay. So what did they do, Mike? So they had to remove the pipe bomb and blow it up. Okay. So in the picture that we've got on the screen, the, the red thing is the, is the bomb, the pipe mm -hmm. bomb. And the white thing is the internet cable. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So if the pipe bomb goes off... Boom. Boom. No more porn. No more porn. No. But, lo but luckily... <laughs> Reverse boners all right. Reverse boners all right. <laughs> but luckily they managed to so I take, remove it safely and a controlled explosion. Okay. So, yeah. What's, what's the, the, the scariest moment you've ever had about blowing things up? <laughs> Never blown anything up. Never, like burst a balloon or oh yeah. yeah yeah I'm not a, I'm not keen on when a balloon bursts in your face no not, not a fan not of things like... bursting in his face no. no no it's shocking it is shocking it is shocking unexpected unexpected uh, a, a surprise yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so if you had to find a pipe bomb somewhere yeah so you, you're living your I don't life like the way where <laughs> this is going not on your person we're not going to it's not a replacement dilly you're okay. Um, if you had to risk something being blown up, what would it be? Something unpleasant. <laughs> something unpleasant. <laughs> so you're not thinking like Trump? Well, or... well, well yeah. But then he, he probably is like a dandelion. And if he blew up, <laughs> his bits would spread far and wide. And then they would distribute. And then he would, he would grow again. <laughs> you ask these questions, Mike, and you know what kind of answers are going to be given. I know. That's why I asked this kind of question. Uh, <laughs> so, D Donald Trump is basically a dandelion. Yeah. If we blow him, he's going to spread everywhere. Yeah. Right. Not, at, not literally, not at his age now. <laughs> Just <laughs> dust comes out, yeah. <laughs> but if you blew his entire body up, uh. the bits <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would get caught in the wind. You know, like a worm. If you chop a worm in half... You end up with two pieces of dead worm. Yeah. Yeah. You, you pull, a, pull a salamander's tail off... It, it grows another tail. Yeah, you know that if you cut a worm in half, you end up with two halves of a dead worm. No, it, it becomes another worm. No, they, they, they wriggle in pain for a few minutes and oh, then die. OK. Well, let's go back to the dandelion thing. Then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an unpleasant seed. OK. That disperses. Um, I think we should leave it there. Well, thanks, Mike. Not a peen to be seen. Right after the break, we will have our next life lesson. So see you after this. Welcome back. And now it's our award-winning section. And by award-winning, we mean we printed off our own certificate, put some little shiny stars on it. It's this week's life lesson. Life Lessons. So this week's life lesson is all getting ready for Christmas. Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> Mistletoe and wine. Well, not quite wine. No. No. I thought I'd share with, with the world one of my family's recipes. <gasps> oh. Which you need to prepare months in advance. Do you? Yes. It's like a Christmas cake, but bare. And that is Christmas gin. Oh. Okay. So for this, you're going to need a bottle of gin. Now, it has to be specific. It has to be dry London gin. Okay. Because okay. if it's got any special flavours and things, it's not going to work. Okay. I don't, you do know I don't drink alcohol at all. I know. You also need some cherries. And okay. uh, do they have a particular name, Mike? Are they a particular kind? These of are maraschino cherries. Ooh. Yes, cocktail cherries. Ooh. Um, but the trick with those is to keep them in the freezer. Okay. Yeah, because then it keeps your drink cold. Oh. Um, you also need a lovely cinnamon, -nam 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 stick. cinnamon, -nam 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 cinnamon, -nam -nam -nam. cinnamon. -nam -nam -nam. Ugh. Do you not like the smell? No, it stinks. Mmm. It's bark of a tree. You also need a brown starfish, or star anise as it's also known. Yeah. Yeah. Like a desiccated crab. You need some cloves and little twiggy things. Oh, poor, uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, they're very, they're very oh, strong. God, yeah. They are. Oh. <laughs> Every time I smell these, I think of toothache. Uh, oh. Yeah. Did you used to go to the dentist in the 1800s? <laughs> no, but, uh, but we used to get given clothes when Clove oil? Yeah, yeah. Um, and an orange. So the first thing you need to do is remove the gin from the bottle and put it into a jug. OK, I've got a jug. OK. Got some gin. So yes, remove the gin. Or most of the gin. Sorry, I was just, <laughs> I was just smelling the aroma Smelling gin. the gin. Is gin made out of berries? It is made of juniper berries. Oh. And they also add spices um, such as cardamom. Yeah. Cardi B. Yeah, yeah. You will need the bottle openly. Oh, sorry. Because we're going to be inserting things into them. Oh, OK. OK. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to need to peel and skin the orange. OK. My, my uh, jug made a, 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 an unfortunate <laughs> a part, noise. Yes. So peel and skin the, the, yes. the, the, the orange. Because we need, we need the skin and the zest. I don't, know, I don't know how to do that. You don't know how to... Well, I do it this way, which is to peel it in half. Cut it in half? Cut it in half. Yeah. Yeah, and then peel the flesh away from that. OK. Or you can just peel it the normal way. I don't have to, like, make a small person out of it. No, no, we've done it that. And then peels it off. No, no, no. No, OK. No. Right. You could do, do that if you wanted to. You can use just half an orange as well if you just want to use half an orange. <laughs> So you need the, you need the pith, the the, you need, the skin. What you actually need is the oil out of the skin. Okay. Because that's where the smell and flavour lies. And, and you said this is a, a traditional family's recipe. Yes. Family recipe. Yeah. Well, gin is. <laughs> Wait, were your family alcoholic? Did no, you no. We just we like to be very sociable. Oh, okay. So yeah. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like, like, alcohol like, a, like a nice glass of gin when you're five. <laughs> <laughs> no, Waiting Malibu for Santa to come. <laughs> <laughs> I, I once did steal someone's um, Malibu and orange at a house party. Thinking Malibu it was orange and juice. orange, that's it. So I thought it was just orange juice. Mm -hmm. And running around as a child went glug, 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 glug. Did you, did you like it? Did you like I it? I loved it. I also hated the hangover the next day. Oh. I know people that, that mix Malibu with milk. Who are these wrong people? As a, as a beverage, an alcoholic beverage. As a beverage. Yeah. I've heard of Kahlua and milk. Or pineapple juice and, and, oh. and, and Malibu. All right, OK, I thought you said, like, Kahlua then. I'm like, coffee and Malibu. <laughs> pineapple, that's weird. So I ju uh, uh, just need to, to peel half of No, you actually need the whole orange. Oh, I, just, all of I was trying to <sighs> not point out that I dropped mine. Oh! <laughs> quite spectacularly. But you need the whole orange. And then you need to cut it so it's quite small. The orange or the... The, the orange peel. The orange peel. Because it's the peel that we're going to use. Oh, do we not use the flesh? No, no, you can eat the flesh if you want. Choppy, choppy, choppy. And this is basically also the same recipe for mulled wine. OK. And do you, can you use other citrus fruit? You can. You can use other citrus fruits. You can use. You can pretty much put whatever you want in gin. Um, I like oh, tonic and ice. <laughs> yeah, any fruit. Um, if, but if you're using a soft fruit, you have to mash it. OK. Yeah. Or how, massacrate how, it. How tiny are we saying these? Just, to, just so it just fits into the neck with ease. OK. So it doesn't need to be tiny, tiny. But you need to make sure there's no fruit on there. What happens if there's fruit on it? It just, it goes a bit cloudy. Oh. And we don't want it cloudy, we want it red. Oh, OK. I, I, at this time of year, mm -hmm. you know, sort of september -y time, mm -hmm. when the, um, when the bushes are full uh -huh. of fruit. I don't like a full bush. Mm, um, I have friends that pick, um, Elderberries. Mm, make el yeah, yeah. Elderberry gin. Yeah, you can put anything you want in gin. And if you're not cut slow at cutting things lightly, um, <laughs> you then need to pop in, um, you need to crush and put in your star anise. So you don't cut the star anise, you crush it. Satisfying snap, like bubble wrap ish. So that, just one star anise? Two. Two. So you snap it and put it in. No, just, just give it a squeeze, just so it crunches a little bit. <laughs> even, oh, <laughs> even, it, it, even the weird flobby middle bit. You need the flobby middle bit, but you just give it a crush just to break it. You don't need to break it into pieces. I don't have the strength in my fingers. <laughs> Do you? Do you not? <laughs> to crush anything. Okay. And then we're going to pop in four cloves as well. 
Oh, you're very fast, aren't you? <laughs> it's because there's gin involved. I'm like, give me the gin. <laughs> Are you worried to evaporate before you can yeah, get well, it? Yeah, look, all the alcohol's leaving it. And then you put the clothes in. All of it? All four of them, yep. One, <laughs> two, three. Counting things is fun! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then your cinnamon stick. Just drop that oh. in. A little What's bit that? of wood. Oh, so I'll just put that in whatever it is. Don't do anything. <laughs> you don't need to do anything with the cinnamon stick. You just pop it in. Lob it in. Just lob it in. Lob it in. And then a couple of your cherries. Now these will stain your fingers. Plop. Plop. Plop them in. Very festive. Very festive. Which is the whole point because it's Christmas gin. Pop some of the juice in as well because you can. And then you just pour the gin back in the bottle. Now all of the gin won't fit back in. Oh. Because of physics. Anybody needs to go for a wee? <laughs> now is not the time. You fill it as much as you can. You want to leave a little bit of air, but not much. So try and get up to the, the green bit of the neck. Well, a bit thorough, you can... A little bit, I can smell it. You right. can, yeah. Right, and then you screw the lid back on nice and tight. And now carefully shake it, just to, to give it a mix up. Shake, shake, it. shake, yeah. shake some more. And if you look, it's already started to go a bit pinky. Okay. So you now need to leave that for six to eight weeks. <gasps> That's an eternity. It's a long time. But at the end of that, you've got a lovely, Christmassy flavoured chip. Well, that's marvellous. And, and would you give that as, as a gift or would you just drink it yourself? Give away booze. Give a, no, you wouldn't. Stop. Give Are away you not booze? one of the people that would like make, would put, the, put it in a lovely container? No, I'm the type of person that would in a few weeks go, ooh, I've got gin. Oh, okay. And, does it, and so, so when you drink it, does it have to be cold? Um, it's preferable to drink, drink, drink. Oh, you've been oh, drinking it already. <laughs> um, it's preferable to have it cold. Okay. Yeah, with just some soda water, because it's quite strong flavoured already. Okay. But yeah, however you want it. Oh, how marvellous. Mm. Can you put things like um, sweets in your gin? You can make a sweet gin. Like pear drops? You can put pear drops in, mm. yeah. Although you can just put the chemical that pear drops comes from in as well. Oh, well, that's... Flavor. Or just buy pear flavoured gin. Yeah, or just buy it. But you can, any fresh fruit you can put in there. Uh... What about bananas? You can put bananas in. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put anything you want into gin and it will add the flavour. Might bacon. not taste good, because, you know, it's already got quite a lot of flavours in there, but... Bacon Sausages? Gin. Yeah, yeah, you... But we will try sausage and bacon gin. Breakfast fry up gin. A full breakfast gin? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. OK. We've come to the end of the show for now, but if you can't wait a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Could TV on social media. The TV is for our website. And while you're there, have a look at our support section for exclusive clips. Like the last drops left of a tube of lube, we've got just enough time to squeeze out our picture of the week, which this week was sent in by Mrs Serpentine Spruce from Cheesequake in America. And she writes... Hey y'all, Cudsters. As a change from all the dick pics, would you like to see my melons? This is what we call well hung in America. Ooh, that lovely melons. They oh, are full, ripe. Yes, very firm. Give them mm. a good squeeze before you, you, drop, you buy them, though. Mm. Yes. More than a handful's a waste, though. Well, you can eat a lot of melon. Mm. Yeah. But I, I, quite, I still quite like the size of my jugs. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget, you can share a picture with us, too. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.